Some people call it the golden age of cinema. It gave birth to timeless and beloved classics, such as Back to the Future, miles. The Breakfast Club, Beetlejuice. and Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. It's showtime. With the cinema craze on the rise, everybody and their mothers wanted to see the next big thing on not only the silver screen, but also from the comfort of their own home. And so, a new business opportunity arose. The idea of a place containing a convenient library stocked with old classics and new releases that anyone could rent and return within the next week. Thousands of big names like Blockbuster and Video Easies popped up all over the world and for Adelaide came Galactic Video. This is Galactic Video, located on Gola Place in the center of the Adelaide CBD. On the outside, it doesn't look like much, but on the inside is where the treasure lies. An almost secret vault containing over 8,000 DVDs and VHS tapes, all sorted into their respective genres. Follow me. Galactic's interior is small but cozy. It's reminiscent of that nostalgic retro vibe that aims to keep the spirit of the 80s and 90s alive. What's interesting about Galactic Video is that they hold a plethora of obscure films shipped in from all over the world that you wouldn't usually find on any generic streaming service. Take this film, for example, Ichi the Killer, directed by Takashi Miike. It's a sadistic gore thriller set in the gut-wrenching world of the Japanese Yakuza clans. Or Enter the Void by Gaspar Noe is a POV experience detailing what life is like after death based on Tibetan scriptures. Or even this film, Bad Boy Bubby, shot right here in South Australia. About a man confined to isolation for 30 years is experiencing the world for the first time. I started Galactic Video back in 1995. At that time, there were many video shops in Adelaide and South Australia, all over the metropolitan area. Just about every suburb had their own video store. But I've always been interested in science fiction and horror. And my idea was to have a specialist shop, just specializing in science fiction, horror, and then Japanese animation. And yeah, 26 years later, I'm still here. Back when I started, it was weekly hire on VHS. These days, it's weekly hire on DVDs and Blu-rays. But it was always weekly hire on everything. And that gave people the opportunity to come in from all over the suburbs and even from nearby country towns. In recent decades, the unstoppable force known as the streaming service has completely dominated the renting industry. With over 200 platforms to choose from worldwide, watching a movie at home has become the most accessible it's ever been. Lots of people don't have a credit card or internet, so in that regard, Galactic Video kind of bridges the digital divide. In Australia alone, at least 88% of the population subscribe to the astronomical prices of at least one of these streaming services that have now started to fund their own original content. With all the video shops closing down, all my contacts in the industry dried up. Years ago, there were five video warehouses in Adelaide that serviced the 100 video shops around the metropolitan area but all five warehouses closed down. It was a bit of a worry, but then I've always been an independent. I've never been part of a franchise operation. I was always an independent. So I have the habit of sourcing my own materials that I need, and I just had to do that even more so when um, 
the industry more or less collapsed. But pure convenience alone was enough to wipe out thousands of blockbusters, an empire built up over 30 years gone in just a few. It gets, it gets harder every year with streaming and video on demand, but there is a social aspect to the shop that you don't get necessarily online. I have a lot of regular customers, they come in for a chat, they come in for conversation. It's the only place you can get videos in, the, well in Adelaide anyway, come in, in the bus and walk straight here. <laughs> we can get hold of stuff from all sorts of strange corners of the world that are not commonly available. I'm not even sure they're available on streaming service. You've got to know how to work a streaming service for a start. I don't. Too old for that. <laughs> Unlike its rivals, Galactic prides itself on its low prices. It's $4 per week for each movie, and for every day after the week, it's 50 cents extra. I started as a customer, basically. Um, a few years ago, my mother got sick, which meant I had to stop my regular work and look after her, which meant I had a bit more time. When Steve had periods where he couldn't attend uh, the shop, he would ask me if I could fill in for him for like a day or so. And I had the time, so I said yes, and just grew from there. The most important part of it is the people you meet. It's an eclectic bunch of people uh, from all shapes, sizes, backgrounds. Working here during periods where there aren't that many customers, you have a chance to sort of browse the shop, find things that you weren't realized were around. Um, and usually you get paid in free rentals, so you get your pick of the shop, as it were. I've always been a sole trader, but I've always had help from my family and friends. Uh, I have friends who volunteer and work the shop for me when I'm not here. They do that for the love of film, for the love of television, just like I keep this shop going for the love of film and for the love of television. Um, for me, the main thing is the storytelling. Um, like my favorite film is the Star Wars series, particularly the original and the prequels. And what draws me to those films is the storytelling, the story that's being told there. That's the most fascinating thing. I mean. For me, I think that's a, almost a primal need of man, or people, is telling stories. I think it's sort of one of the first forms of entertainment we ever had. We want to share our love of film and television with other people. We want to talk about it with other people. And we like helping people when they come down and they're looking for a certain film title. We can usually identify it and we can usually source it for them. If video stores can hang on, then I think there would be a drift back to video stores so that people can find and source their favorite programs when they are not available on streaming anymore. So there you have it. Galactic DVD, Adelaide's last surviving video store is still very much alive and kicking. So if you're in the area, why don't you come on over and give them a visit? It may very well be the last chance you'll ever get to experience the wonders of wandering the shelves. And maybe, just maybe you'll find a new favorite movie. Just maybe stay away from the porn section.